Okay, if you're like me and you're ticked off seeing your bills at the grocery store, the gas pump, and you feel like so many Americans, like, how is this happening in the United States? Why did this happen? Well, liberal economists think you're just too stupid to get how great everything is. You know, you say all these macroeconomic statistics are great, but people aren't feeling it. Actually, people are feeling it. You ask, what's the state of the economy? And their answer is, I hate Joe Biden. Really, this is not about people's personal experience. The reality is that the economy is delivering. Joining me now, Ned Ryan, founder and CEO of American Majority, and Brian Brenberg, Fox News contributor and co-host of The Big Money Show on Fox Business. Ned, um, this is the old line of the left, is it not, that we're just too stupid and dumb, um, hayseeds, we can't understand anything? Yeah, you dirty little peasants don't know what's best for you. They're smearing lipstick all over this, this pig and calling it a beauty queen. And we're sitting there going, no, it's a pig. And there's two leading str economic stressors that, that are taking place right now, Laura. One is that more and more people are, are tapping into their 401k accounts for larger loans to pay for everyday uh, items. And the massive staggering amount of credit card debt for Americans, it's still over a mm -hmm. trillion dollars. And yet Democrats want to say the economy's great, inflation's slowing down. The fact of the matter is we know it's cumulative. And in the last three years since Biden was elected, it's been 20 percent cumulative inflation. That's why Americans are paying about seven hundred dollars more a month for their household items. And, and in the face of this, Biden administration is gaslighting us, saying the, the economy is great. Oh, and offering a seven point three trillion dollar budget, which is three trillion dollars more than government revenue yesterday, uh, last year. And the leading cause for all of this massive government spending and printing up dollars like it's monopoly money. And if, if Biden's reelected, based off what we're seeing, we'll get yeah. more of this economically. Well, Brian, the White House just keeps calling this a, a messaging problem. It's not a substance problem. <laughs> this is his top economic advisor. Watch. Do you think at this point, Jared, the we just need to promote his accomplishments more strategy may be falling flat? I don't know about that. That all sounds like a very strategic communications kind of question. Let's ask folks about directly what we're doing before we conclude they're unhappy with the agenda. Brian, do they think they like getting rid of like junk fees and like talking about shrinkflation, that's going to save them in this election? You can't message a 7% mortgage, Laura. That's the problem that they have. People look at their wallet. You know, you had a great uh, piece earlier in the show about the suburbs, right? If you want to kill the suburbs, here's two things you make unaffordable, houses and cars. And that's exactly what they have gone after. When people look at the current economy and they say, why is it so bad? They look at those two assets and they say, I can't afford them anymore. And it's Biden's fault. They don't necessarily hate Biden contra Krugman, but they right. say he's the guy who caused this. And I don't like that. And now, Ned, as we started uh, with the angle, uh, to Brian's point, they're coming for the suburbs. This is, this is not right. a joke. This was Obama's, Obama's goal, and now it's Biden's reality. If he gets a second term, the pressure on those localities and those states to rezone suburbs for high-density right. housing, that is already happening in the United States, and it's going to happen on steroids if he gets a second term. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, the, the people in the suburbs need to understand life as they know it will end uh, if Biden's reelected. The policies that they intend to implement uh, will, will destroy their dreams of the suburb. But I want to make one last point, Laura, that, that Brian was, was, was making as well. The voters are blaming Biden for this, no matter what they're saying. I just saw a poll today. 66 percent of voters in Arizona, battleground state, blamed Biden for the spiking costs of groceries. That wow. should be very troubling to Biden and Democrats going into the November elections. Ned and Brian, thank you both so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.